So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get possibly the best mage armor set in the game. I mean, it's legendary, it looks absolutely incredible as you can see on screen now. This is the Azur's armor set. You know you need this people, you know you need this. Today I'll guide you through everything you need to know to get this amazing bit of kit. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So before you do this, there are two things you need to know about it. Firstly, you need to have beaten Radan and you also need to have beaten Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. Now you can do these along the way, especially Renala because you have to go back to this spot. But Radan, I'll take out of the way, just straight up, just take him out of the way and make things easier because I do believe later on in this like quest, it does block certain progress. So yes, take him out. If you haven't done Renala Queen of the Full Moon yet, that doesn't matter because you need to go to her anyway. But we need to go back to that area to get this set and complete this quest. So worry about that later on. But just make sure you've taken out Radan and you are good people. Okay, so there's a armor set. Absolutely incredible looking. We all know about the Comet as well. That amazing uh, spell, that amazing bit of magicry. OP as heck. Well, if you have this, you are good to start. But again, that isn't necessary either. Because firstly, guys, we need to go and speak to Sorceress Selen. And her location is within Waypoint Ruins. So you need to come here, guys, and go down into the Waypoint Ruins cellar. As you can see me doing on the screen now. Within here, guys, you then need to just, just get rid of all her dialogue. Every bit of dialogue she has, get rid of it. From here, if you haven't already, go and grab the Comet Azur. If you don't know where this is, you'll see the location to it on screen now. Now, to get up to the location of this, you do need to have the Dectus Medallion. So, search YouTube for a guide. The Dectus Medallion comes in two halves. As soon as you get that, guys, you can activate this lift. It's relatively straightforward. And then from this point, people, follow the path I take on screen now. Now, I will speed up the video, but you can slow it down using the YouTube's uh, playback features if you want a, a, a slower version of it. But you just need to run around this entire area just follow where i go guys it's relatively straightforward um and you'll come to there's a npc who's just hidden behind a path next to a grace you obviously as well want to activate this grace make sure you get this because you have to come back to this at a later point Well, upon activating the grace, guys, speak to Sorcerer Azur, and you'll give you this amazing Comet Azur skill. Now, if you've already got this, guys, you then need to go back to selling, guys, at Waypoint Ruins. Now, if you already had the Comet Azur when you first spoke to uh, Sorcerer Selen, and you cleared out all her dialogue, you're good to go, and you're ready for the next stage. If you just got the Comet Azur, you do need to go back to uh, Waypoint Ruins and speak to her and she will have another dialogue option to talk about Comet Azur or Azur himself. So clear out all dialogue options there, guys. From here, guys, you should have even more dialogue pop up. So clear it all out and you should get dialogue about Master Lucet, which means here, guys, you are on the right path. Now, this Lucet, who is a evil sorcerer, is trapped behind a magical seal. She gives you the seal breaker, meaning you have to go to said location and break said seal. From here, guys, you need to go to this point on the map right here. Now, there's a couple of grace points you can spawn in at around this area. I'm just using my closest one, which is Fort Faroth. So just spawn in here, guys, and do as I do. You'll come to this, like, gravesite ruins thing. And behind it, guys, is actually 
a boulder, a secret boulder, which if you hit, it disappears, meaning you can go into this rock cave-like system called Celia Hideaway. Now you need to follow the path I take on screen now through this system. Uh, there's a few uh, secret walls in your way that you need to get rid of by hitting. And you eventually guys have to come down. There's actually two floors to this. Uh, there's one like either side of each other. You want to go to the one. I think it's on your left and you'll see a sorcerer standing in front of a sealed wall. We have to take out this sorcerer and then guys just go up to the wall and trigger it. So you now guys have access to Lucy. Now if you speak to him, he doesn't say much, but it gives you the Star of Ruin. You then guys need to go back to Salem within the Waypoint Ruin Cellar. Here again guys, clear out all dialogue and she will eventually request your assistance on an important task. And from here guys, you need to make your way down to the Witchbane Ruins. So any grace here uh, around this area is completely fine because you need to get to the Witchbane Ruins, which you'll see me doing on screen now. Once you get here, guys, just come down as I do on screen now. Moving, guys, you'll find the true body of Sorceress Selen. Here, guys, you'll see that she needs you to take a primal glintstone, basically her soul, to a new body. And you need to agree to do so, guys. From here guys, we need to travel to where this new body is located. Now this new body is located within Renny's Rise. And to gain access to this area guys, you have to fight your way through a few enemies as well as a boss who can be quite difficult. But low to medium players can take him out. I took him out way, way, way earlier on within my playthrough. So yeah, you need to come up to Carrier Manor as you can see here on the map and fight your way through this manor grounds. So just follow the path I take on screen now guys and you'll end up at this boss who you need to take out. The boss's name is Royal Knight Loretta and he can be a bit of a pain like I said if you're a low level but medium level players I mean to be honest like I said I beat him as a low level so yeah you shouldn't have too much of a difficulty if you can take out Radan this should be no problem for you so from here guys follow the route I take on screen now from the grace you get upon beating Loretta and you need to come to this ruins here on the ground here there will be a false floor which when you hit, it will disappear, meaning you can go down. Now you need to come down into this chamber and hit another false wall, as you can see me doing on screen now. Within here guys, you'll see that body that Selen had stowed away. And here you transfer uh, Selen's glintstone into this body and then you just clear out the dialogue guys. And from here guys, you need to go to here, bottom right of the map, the chamber outside the plaza, um, because you need to speak to an NPC here called Jaren. Now you need to do this after is defeated Radan. That's what I'm saying. That's why Radan needs to be taken out. Now this guy is located within the church, not far from where the actual Radan fight is initiated. Now if you speak through all his dialogue, he will mention that he's getting out of here to attend to unfinished business. From here guys, you need to go back to the Witchbane ruins, but I'm left at a map. Within here guys, you will find Joran and that bloody corpse 
of Selen's body. Here guys, speak with Jaren until all dialogue is gone. This means guys, you have to get to the Grand Ray Lucara Library. And to gain access to this area guys, you first have to break a seal, which is blocking all doors. Now if you come to this point on the map right here guys, you'll get a map from a dude who will take you to the key of where you break the seal. It's hidden behind a dragon right about here. So guys, I'll do on screen now guys, grab this key, then you can come back to the seal guys and gain access to this area. Now here guys, you have to go to the area where Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, is located within that grand library. If you haven't already, you do have to take her down, but if you have, you're already good for the next step. So upon taking down Renala Queen of the Full Moon, which is relatively a quite simple fight, from the sight of grace that will have spawned after you beat her, run back outside of the door. You'll see there's two summoning signs. We have a red one on the right and a yellow one on the left. For the purposes of this, we want to go to the yellow one on your left. Here guys, obviously you want to summon to assist Sorcerer Selen. So that's the option you want to go with, go with the yellow one. From here guys, you have to help defend Selen from Jaren. So kill Jaren and then you are good. Upon doing this guys you then need to speak to Selen who will be at the center of this grand library. From here guys just clear out all her dialogue. Weeping those rewards she gives you. From here guys then once all dialogue is done go to the grey sit down and stand back up and you'll notice she will disappear and the remainder of Renella, Queen of the Full Moon will be back. And from here guys you can now go and grab the Azure armor set and it's located where Azur's body was, where you got that comet Azur from. So obviously when you activated that grace, right at the start of this video guys, you need to go back to that exact location. You'll now see now that Sorcerer Azur's body will have vanished, but there will be an item there for you to pick up. Go to it guys, and now you are rewarded the Azur armor set. And well guys, it really is as simple as that. Quite a lengthy quest, but definitely worth it in my opinion. And there we have it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one. Now this actual headpiece to this Azur's uh, armor set increases the power of Azur's primeval current sorceries. But it does cost additional FP consumption. So if you're a fan of the Comet Azur, this makes it even more powerful.